I love apples. Even I love apples. Do you know what happens to the food inside our body? No. Let's get into this boy's body with the apple and see what happens to it. Wow! We have become so small. We are so small that we can enter this boy's body. So, let us start from mouth. Oh, teeth are making it in small pieces and also grinding it. Yes, saliva gets added here to this food. Food becomes a thin paste. Ah, ah, teeth with help of saliva make a thin paste. Which way to go now? Now there are two ways. One goes to the food pipe and other goes to the windpipe. We are going to the food pipe. There is a valve called pharynx. This food pipe is also called esophagus. Ah, ah, windpipe, food pipe, pharynx. Oh, now we are entering the stomach. Get ready. There's a lot of liquid here. Food travels from esophagus to stomach. What is this liquid? Oh, these are gastric juices. They make the food melt. This is a kind of boiling here. Yes, this is also called acid. Ah, ah, gastric juice. It is small intestine. Oh, but food is just traveling. Where would the body take nutrients from the food? Right question at the right time. Most of digestion happens in small intestine. Most of nutrients are absorbed by body here. Ah, ah, small intestine. Most of digestion happens here. What is this green liquid? Oh, this is bile. It is produced in liver and pancreas. It helps in digestion. This liquid comes in small intestine and helps to take nutrients from the food. Alright. Ah, ah. Bile, liver, pancreas. What are these small hairs? These are called villi. Nutrients enter blood from these villi. Oh, it's a long journey. Yes, it is 22 feet long. Small intestine is 22 feet long. Now we are entering large intestine. Is it bigger than small intestine? No, small intestine is bigger in length, but large intestine is bigger in width. Oh, small intestine is narrow. That is why it is called small intestine. Yes, here the water from the food is absorbed. Large intestine, water is absorbed here. Oh, I want to go back. Now this is becoming very thick. Yes, let's go back. Now it is food waste, which body does not need. It would go out of the body through anus. Ah, ah, anus, food waste goes out. So here you can see whole digestive system. Now you know the whole journey of food. Wow! It is a long journey. It starts from mouth, goes to esophagus, which is food pipe. From there, it goes to stomach. Then it enters small intestine. And from small intestine, it enters large intestine. And from there, it comes out of body through anus. Let's see an experiment on what happens inside the stomach. Oh, what is this? Let me show you how gastric juices in stomach burn the food which we eat. Why are you cutting the apple? Because food goes into our stomach in small pieces. What is the liquid in this jar? Oh, it is acid, like in our stomach. So, 
acid would burn all the food and give us energy. Yes, acid in stomach burns all the food or we can say it cooks all the food to get nutrients. Yeah, it is taking time. Yes, stomach takes six, seven hours to burn all the food. I want to show you the difference between small and large intestine. Oh, these look like intestines. Look at this. This is very, very long. But its mass is small. It is called small intestine. Yeah, it is 25 feet long. Yes, you're right. Oh, this with big mouth is called large intestine. It is only 5 feet long. Yes, it is small in length but bigger in mouth size. That is why it is called large intestine. Ah, ah, small intestine, 25 feet. Large intestine, 5 feet. What are you doing? Oh, I would water some plants with small intestine. <laughs>